the coast of Azerbaijan, a former Soviet republic on the Caspian Sea. July 4, 2021. Early evening. A man films a flame flashing over the water. Whoa, look at that. What is going on? A colossal fireball is rising up in the nearby Caspian Sea. Literally, the entire night sky is lit up. Locals react to the towering 1,600-foot inferno as high as the One World Trade Center. This must be terrifying for the people watching. The amount of heat this must be giving off is insane. I've never seen anything like that. What's happening? Azerbaijan is home to over 10 million people, but is run by one family, headed by Ilham Aliyev and his wife, Marabin. In 2003, President Aliyev took over control of Azerbaijan from his father. Now, the family itself had controlled the country for 30 years, and at this point, it doesn't look like they're about to lose that control anytime soon. Amnesty International have accused Aliyev's government of authorizing suppression of free speech and the torture of his political opponents. When this blast rocks the nation's coastline, Aliyev blames it on an erupting mud volcano. Journalist Linda Rodriguez McRobbie looks at the local geology. Azerbaijan has one of the highest concentrations of mud volcanoes on the planet. In fact, nearly half of the world's mud volcanoes are in this area. A mud volcano is very different from a traditional volcano. What's happening is that the heat from the Earth's core is heating water deep underground. And that water mixes with the sediment and the minerals around it, creating a mud that shoots up out of the ground rather than lava. Lava from normal volcanoes come out of the Earth at over 2,000 degrees, but mud volcanoes rarely get hotter than just 200 degrees. Matt Kutcher is a Hollywood pyrotechnics and ballistics expert with over 30 years of experience. He wants to find out if Aliyev's mud volcano explanation for this fireball is plausible. This is more about a gaseous release, right? Superheated water mixed with mud. In that mud, there's a lot of methane. The Caspian is the world's largest inland sea, and geologists have found over 292 trillion cubic feet of natural gas beneath its brackish waters. We're gonna bubble up through the ocean, some kind of ignition. Whether it's minerals rubbing together, maybe it's lightning. Whatever it is, that ignites that methane. 